I've just installed a Golang compiler on this computer here, and this is the binary file for the compiler. And to see whether the compiler works, you type this and maybe check the version of it. And if it's correctly installed, this is what you should get. It works very well when you're in a local directory, but what if you are on another directory, say a root directory, and try to check the version? It cannot be found, right? They're asking to install it. Obviously, you can't run this. This means current directory. It will not work. You might say, okay, maybe your path is not set correctly. And you're right. If you look at it, the Golang path is not in here. And you can go ahead and add the Golang path in here like this. And now you can run your Golang compiler and check the version. It works very well, as long as your SSH is not terminated. Let's say I'm going to terminate this SSH connection and log back in again. Now I'm back in again. If I try to access the Golang compiler, it tells you again it's not found. Even in root directory, it's not found. So how do you get around this? It's pretty simple. This is what you have to do. First, you have to go to your home directory, which is accessible by cd, this thing. And this is what the command prompt should look like. Another way to access it would be cd forward slash home, followed by your username. And it looks the same at the end of the day. If you ls minus al, it's a hidden file that you are ex about to modify. It's called bash.rc. .bash so I'm going to use a text editor called nano. Nano. And then after that, bash.rc. Login. And what you do on your editor is you scroll all the way to the very bottom and you type the following command. So essentially what you're doing is you're adding this path, the Golang compiler path, into your environment variable. I'm gonna save it and exit. What bash rc does is that whenever you start your SSH connection, they run this bash file and all the configurations in there, including the path file setting. So now it does not work, of course, because it only runs when it first starts. So you're gonna have to exit by pressing Control D and get back in again. Now if you type go, it works. Even if you exit again, come back in again. And let's say if you go to root directory, it works.